Hey guys, it's Morgan with Vintage and Bloom. Um, I'm in the shop tonight until six. Well, a little bit later because we have a workshop tonight. But right now I'm sitting on the floor and kind of hunched over sideways because I wanted to uh, show you guys my latest project. I'm working on a vanity. Um, and that's the base of it. And then obviously there's drawer, four drawers that go in it. Uh, and also a really cool mirror that's gonna go up here, but um, it is at my house and it's gonna stay natural. So, so far what I've done is we took, I took like a little poll on Instagram to see what color I should paint this vanity. I wanted to paint it Paris gray and that is what I put the first coat on of Paris gray on it. But um, I was having some really weird bleed through problems. Uh, you could see the tannins of the wood coming through. Um, I tried shellac and one coat of that didn't work and I didn't really want to mess with it because I also wanted to paint it navy. So I just went with that route instead. So um, it's painted. There's three coats of paint on it. One Paris gray, two um, Oxford navy. So Oxford navy is one of Annie Sloan's new colors. Um, it's amazing. Uh, if you were here for the cabinet demo last week, that's the color that I painted the uh, cabinet to. So today I just want to show you guys the beauty of wax. So, hi mom. So I'm going to do that now, but first I'm gonna sand. So if you are um, one of those people that are uh, bothered by the sound of sandpaper, this is not the video for you. Um, I know those people exist. So I just wanna give you a heads up that for the next you know minute or so, I'm gonna be sanding this piece. So don't, um, if that bothers you, this is your time right now to duck out. So, um, uh oh, I don't have any sandpaper, I'll be back. All right, so I'm gonna distress this piece um, a little bit, and you're gonna see, I don't know if you can sort of see, yeah, you can see in the details here that the Paris Gray kind of came through, and I didn't mess too hard with trying to get it completely covered because when I distress it, it's gonna come through a little bit more anyway. You can sort of see it down here in the details too. So what I'm going to do now is distress, and I'm gonna show you guys waxing. So um, I distress before I wax. If you watch Annie's video, she typically waxes and then distresses, and then waxes again. Um, but you can see we have a drop cloth down on the floor to catch our mess. Um, and I will put on a mask whenever I leave you guys to finish the rest of it. So um, I'm just gonna start sanding. Again, if this sound bothers you, it's time to go. So, if, or just turn me on silent, that'll be fine too. So I'm just gonna, this is a 220 grit sandpaper that I'm using. Um, and I'm just trying to take some of the edges of it off and smooth the paint out. And you can see that it's changing color quite a bit. Um, it's getting much lighter than that dark blue that it was originally, but whenever I wax, I'm gonna show you how that kind of goes away. So I'm just distressing just a little bit on some of the details. Just to take some of the edges off. Oh, better move my wax. You can see um, distressing, we typically just recommend distressing on um, raised areas of the piece. Um, you won't want to sand distress randomly on sides or anything like that, unless you want to really, really distress it. I typically just prefer a lightly distressed one. So, that's probably enough sanding. This detail down here is going to look really pretty when it's done. So, I hope you guys can hear me okay. Now I need my, hold on, I'm not prepared. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my, the drop cloth there. This is just a clean chip brush that I'm just gonna use to kind of knock some of the sanding dust off before I go ahead and wax. So you can see how it altered the color of the paint. Um, I'm not worried about that because you'll see as soon as I wax, all of that will go away. So we'll, you can see also, there's a ton of dust flying off of it. So I have my Annie Sloan wax brush. Uh, these are the big ones. We actually don't have these for sale in the shop. We only stock the small ones, but the big ones are nice. We like to use them. So um, whenever you're waxing, you wanna wax not at, right out of your tin because um, you will get debris from your, you can see this, I've already started using this, so now it's changing kind of blue, the sanding dust is getting in it. So you don't want that in your wax tin if you're gonna use it again. So what I'm gonna do now is just apply the wax. Yep. 
not a lot on my brush, but you can see it on there. It's white. And I'm just going to apply the wax. It shouldn't be very hard. Some people think that waxing, you know, you'll be sweating. Like my mom, if she's watching, she will agree that it was hard for her. But I am an avid waxer now that I got used to it. So you are going to just apply your wax and you can see kind of how the color came back. I hope you can see that. And if you look, I'm gonna to try to put this on the details. See in the details how that Paris gray is behind and then there is um, the wood, the original wood's coming through as well. So I, um, whenever you're waxing, you're just gonna do small sections at a time. You don't wanna do, you don't, wouldn't wanna apply wax to the entire piece and then go back and try to work it back because it will have dried too much by then and you won't be able to get it off. So now I'm just going to use a clean shop towel to wipe the excess off. And any of those little bristles that got on there. And again, you're not working too hard. You're just lightly wiping all the excess off. And in 5 to 21 days, the wax will fully cure. There is Carnuba in Annie Sloan's wax. It hardens um, like a car wax would. Uh, so a lot of times people are afraid it's not going to be a tough enough protection, but if you let it cure, um, it's not indestructible, but it will last you a very, very long time. So um, I will post, whenever I'm done, I'll post a up close picture of the drawer so you can see, because I know these live videos, sometimes they get pixely and uh, a little weird, but um, I'm going to, oops, sorry, Carol, I've got to mute you. Um, I'm going to finish this up and once I have it done, I will post a photo. And now we have a customer, so I have to go. Have a great day, guys.